Hi, this is Jyoti from Biams. In this tutorial, I will explain you how you can create a batch rendering in ArchiCAD. As everyone knows that a rendering takes very long time, and if you want to render many images, it's very difficult that you have to sit for a long time. And once the rendering is finished, you save that file and create another view, and so on. And many of the Atlantis users, they are happy with the batch rendering function in Atlantis. Now I am going to show you how you can do the same batch rendering in ArchiCAD. In order to explain this, I have chosen this Microsoft Office building. And here you can see the 3D view. And now everyone knows about the views in ArchiCAD. So we go to save current view and define all the properties and save the 3D view so that we can present to the client. But when you are saving the 3D view, you have option called the 3D window and photo rendering window. So this is what I am going to use in order to generate the photo rendering or batch rendering in ArchiCAD. So before I save the view, first let me go to the photo rendering settings. So it's basically you have to define what type of rendering you want to do and all the settings you would like to have for the rendered view. Now for instance I can say that okay there should be Lightworks rendering engine with six forty by four eighty pixel. This is what my first rendering view. So I say okay. And then now I'm going to photo rendering means saving the view. And here I choose photo rendering. In the view I am going to say okay, this is Lightworks render and save the view. Now it will start the rendering, but I don't want to do the render now. I just close this. So now the settings are stored over here. If I check the settings, it's photo rendering motor. So whenever I activate this view, ArchiCAD will start the rendering. Now I want to do the same for the sketch rendering. So I go to the photo rendering settings. Here I am going to choose, okay, it's going to be a sketch rendering and I can define the sketch style over here and all the properties which I need to set and then just click OK. Before clicking this photo render, which, which is starting the rendering, now I am going to save as a view. So I select the folder and save the view and say this is Sketch render, and here I am going to choose photo rendering window and create, and it will start the rendering process. You need to stop it because we don't want to do the rendering one by one now. We want to do as a batch render. Now you can see we have two different views, Lightworks and sketch rendering. Now the same way we have like created this one. These are the default views available in the interactive training guide file lightworks rendering with five views and sketch rendering with five views so now i'm going to use this in the publisher so how i'm going to do it i'm opening the organizer and in the organizer here i have the view map and here my publisher now i'm going to use this as a shortcut. So now all the rendered views folder will be published. But here I am going to choose it should be published in an image format and I can choose which image format I want. And then if I say publish then it will start publishing each and every view. So this is the way the batch rendering works. So if I say publish now it will start the rendering and it goes one by one. Now I have done this process already so I am just stopping this and to show you the result. So here we can see rendered views, I have lightworks views in each and every view as rendered according to the defined settings whatever the settings we define when saving the view and these are the lightworks rendering.
and another thing is if you want to place the rendered views in the layout we no need to create it we no need to render and save as an image and then bring it to archicad and place it on the layouts instead you can just drag this view directly onto the layout now if you check this in archicad essentials itg in the chapter exercise you can see these are the these are actually the views but here you will see like a photo rendering because the view is saved with the settings of photo rendering so when you drag and drop a view by saving the settings as photo rendering and drop on the layout it will automatically render and place it on the layout and the good part is that it is dynamic so whatever the changes you do in the model or if you change the view this automatically updates your rendered image in the layout so it is better that instead of saving as a file outside of archicad and then bringing it back as a figure or image it's better that you save as a view and then drop it in the layout i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you